Okay, so the next part is where we're gonna, we're gonna add blind onto the window. So this is actually the back of the window and then we're gonna, we're gonna flip it round. I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm just gonna score the top of the dough. Kind of just maybe just to about there. Doesn't matter if you go too down too far because this is the back. You're not going to really see the score marks anyway. And um, where has my brush gone? There it is. So I'm going to get some water on my brush. And I'm going to put some water on my brush. And now I'm going to get the blind and um, which bit are they going to see? So yeah. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to put the water on the blind. I'm going to make sure that all the water is on this. So it has to be quite sticky because you really want it to stick to it. And then watch what you're going to do. You're going to flip the blind off of the baking paper onto your hand like that. Just try your best. not to make it stretch out of shape. And then we're gonna lay it across the window frame like that. And it, if you just press down gently, it should stick. Now this is the tricky bit. So you definitely will have to get someone to help you do this because I'm gonna struggle to do this on my own. So, Okay, so you're now going to get this piece of baking paper that you've just taken blind off and you're going to lay it over the top. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to make a little parcel, sort of wrap it up a bit so it's not going to move around as much. Make a little parcel out of it. So I'm going to just kind of crease, crease the baking paper like this. Crease it like this. is the trickiest bit of this project, I think. So I've made a little parcel. And I'm literally just going to put my hand underneath the parcel and flip it. You see? Flip it round. Flip it over. Oops. And then take my... Voila! Now I've got... So I've got a window. Okay. I've got a window. It's gone, it's gone a bit crinkly, hasn't it? Because it's taken the, um, the pattern off the, uh, the sort of crinkly pattern off the baking paper. But you can, you can just go over that with a little bit of water and just smooth it out. And that should just smooth it out with your finger. And that should get so now you've got that nice effect that, look, that looks like there's a blind behind it so it's quite nice that you can just get a bit of water on your finger and just keep wanting to call it clay smooth out the dough it's not clay it's dough If you do have any 
air drying clay at home. You might have some air drying clay. You can you can absolutely do this same project in exactly the same way. If you've got some air drying clay or model magic or anything like that, you can do the same thing. So, so now I've got my window, I've got my blind behind it. And if your mum or dad's got any of these kind of, that one's got clay in it. <laughs> Let's do that. Um, these kind of sugar craft cutters. Uh, you can just make some little, don't, don't cut holes, but you can just, make some little indentations so it looks like can you see it looks like flowery curtains nice little bit of detail so there we go Got a little window there starting to, to take shape. So the next thing to do is um, we can make the uh, windowsill. Now the windowsill is literally just going to be quite a fat coil. So again, you're going to make your, make your sausage shape and it has to be able to, to be stuck. I'm going to stick it to the bottom there. It's, it's got to be long enough. I'm just going to roll it out like that a bit. Yeah. So you want it to be, you want it to be wide enough because we're going to, we're going to stick things onto the windowsill. So might just just flatten the coil a little bit just by pressing my finger along like that and you see so i'm gonna score along the bottom of the windowsill, I'm going to score along the side of that flattened down coil and then I'm going to put some water on it there, you see, and then I can just attach that. And it actually doesn't matter if it's kind of coming over the side a bit because sometimes windowsills do do that a little bit. We've got a bit of a ledge there that's kind of sitting on top of there. I've just damaged it a bit there so just if you get any like little marks in your dough you can just smooth it out with your paintbrush and with some water or with your finger. That. And you see, so I've got I've got a little ledge there now. Probably could have done with moving that in a bit, so the middle bit wasn't quite as fat. But it's all right. It's not perfect. I would have needed a rectangular cutter, I think, and I don't have a rectangular cutter. But you could have used make make your um, template rectangular if you want this bit and this bit to be the same width but I think it looks fine it looks okay um, we're nitpicking a bit there aren't we um, okay so the next thing 
to do will be um, I'm going to make like a like an arch over the top. Probably could have done with placing placing it a little bit further down so it was so I've let I've, so I've got left myself a bit more room but I've probably got just enough room. So when you're flipping your um, window over, make sure you don't do what I've done and put it in the middle. Make sure you put it more at the bottom so you've got a bit a bit more room at the top for the detail that we're going to do next. Okay, so, so we've got our window and so we want to work on this bit now. So it's going to be like an arch shape. And, um, so we're going to make, so start with the ball, you need, again, you need quite a bit, probably, that's probably not enough actually, that, probably that much, that much, okay, you just need it a little bit, just move that the camera up a bit, so you can see, okay, so we're going to need quite a big piece of dough and I'm going to roll it out on camera roll it out can you see what I'm doing starting with my hands in the middle and then moving my hands out try and roll the bits that are a bit fatter Probably don't want it to go any thinner than that actually, it's perhaps a bit too thin, so I'll probably break that bit off. So we're gonna it's gonna move, it's gonna go around like that. As you can see. Going to go around like that, and it's gonna probably be quite tall. So, to make like an arch window, so that's probably about right. I'll get my knife. Cut it there, get my knife, cut it there, and I'm going to do what we did before. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten down that end and that end, and then just, I'm oh, sorry, you can't see, I'm just going to. See what I've done is I've flattened down this end and this end and I've just pushed my thumb into it there and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna flatten down that end but then I'm gonna chop chop off the fat a bit. So it's the same width as the rest of it. Just flatten it down. Watch your fingers when you're cutting. This this is pointy, but it's not particularly sharp. This knife, so it, um, it doesn't hurt me when I'm when I'm pressing it against my fingers. So I'm just going to see what that looks like. Make sure the arch is directly in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to do what we did before. I'm going to score. Score here. Score here. Get my water and my paintbrush. The water here. The water here. Okay. And 
Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a bowl of clay. I'm going to make three bowls of clay, which are so I'm said clay again. It's not clay, is it? It's dough. Slightly obsessed with clay at the minute. Okay, so that one's slightly bigger. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're just going to slightly flatten that down, but that one's just split. If it starts to split like that, it's because the dough's getting a bit dry. So I've, I've had this dough out most of the day now. So I'm just going to, that's going to stick there like that. That looks quite nice. In fact, I don't want that to come down as far as that. I'm just going to cut that off there. I'm going to do the same with that one there. I don't want that to, to be hanging down as far as that. I'm just going to... Don't worry if that looks like a bit of a mess there, because you're going to stick your little ball of clay over it. So it's, it, looks, it almost looks like a little button. That's it. So flatten down that one. Bit of water. There we go. That one at that side. That at that side. I'm just going to stick my little finger in the middle. Like that. I'm going to stick my little finger in. Just makes a little indentation in the middle there. That's quite nice. And then I'm going to put my third one right at the top here. Mm -hmm. In fact, no, I'm not going to do that. I got I said that. I've changed my mind. Um, Gonna. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put like a little donut, a dough in the middle there, like that, but it obviously needs to be a bit, I can use the rest of this coil that I made, and it needs to not be too fat, so it needs to be a bit thinner, I'm just going to roll it out on the work top there for a bit and I'm gonna I've got to measure it really because it's got to fit it's got to fit nicely in there I think I might just bring that up a bit the good thing about dough is that it stretches really easily so if you've not left yourself enough room you can just stretch it out a little bit so I think that's probably still a bit fat. I'm going to roll it a bit. Right, okay. Move it out like that. And measure it though. Yeah, it's going to be about that right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to cut it there and then just try and mould it together just with a bit of water. Just get your fingers and your nails and just kind of pull it across so it moulds together. is going to stick in there. It's going to stick because it's wet. It should stick. 
but I've wet that already, that's already stuck. I need to stick it here. So it stretches, doesn't it? So it's easy to make that. You know that little the little button that I made there. So now I'm going. I'm going to put that there. Oh goodness me, it's my stomach making funny noises. Um. I don't know why it's making funny noises. I've just had my lunch. There we go. And I stick my little finger in it there, and then that should. So, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little flower punch thing and just make little, little flower detail there. Um, and now I'm going to make a, a little cat, I think. I'm going to do a little cat that's sitting on the windowsill. So it's just going to be a very simple little cat, it's nothing, nothing complicated. So I'm going to get a little ball about that size it's going to be make sure it fits on the window so it's not hanging over so that's actually probably about right for a cat and um, I need to do a little head on it With the head. So before I stick the head on, I think I'm going to do the details on the head. It'd be easy to do it before it's stuck on to the body. So I think so. I need to do. I need two very small, little pieces of dough. Very small. Two very small. like that and you see I'm going to stick them side by side like that so so again get a little bit of water stick one there press them down slightly an even tinier little ball of clay and just stick it in between there. You see? That makes the nose. And then get your little skewer. So I'm going to make it some ears. Little bust cap. Little holes where the whiskers go. And just gonna start off with a little bowl and then just pinch it at the top. Flatten it, pinch it, flatten it, pinch it. You see? And then get your skewer and just push down in the middle with really a skewer like that. Okay? And that is on here. Okay? So that will fit on like that. So I need two of those. Watch again. 
a little ball, pinch it, flatten it, pinch it, flatten it, get your skewer and just press in the middle. Put the two little ears there. The cat's head. And um, just a bit of water. And then I'm going to attach just attach the ears. You see? And then I think actually our body is probably a bit flat for the cat's head. So it's easily rectified. Just pull a bit off it and just re rework it. It's getting a little bit dry, so I'm just gonna add a bit of water. Again. That's better, that looks better. It's a better size, isn't it? So you can you may want to put cat's head there and then it can lean against the um the window frame. If you put the cat's head there, it might just fall back because it's quite squashy this day, isn't it? You might just want to put, looks quite bad tempered my cat, I'm not sure why. It looks a bit cross. I think that's better. It looks a bit happier now. Um, I'm gonna just put some little Eat just there. And now just to sit, make it look like it's feet are kind of just sticking out from underneath its body. And if you want, you can do like a little little line there. Makes it looks like it's that leg. Is there? And a little line there to make it look like it's sat down. Its legs there. It's probably all going to kind of merge into one when you put it in the oven. So don't worry about too many. You can't be too detailed really when you're doing when you're doing dough. It's a bit of a, a bit of a fat cat, isn't it? And then its tail. Just a little coil and just have its tail kind of coming back up along its body like that. And some cats hold their tails like that. So that's my little cat. <laughs> so he's going to sit like that. I quite like him. He's quite sweet. Um, 